Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. Okay, so you did not see Biden wandering around aimlessly, freezing up, himself, sniffing dignitaries, falling asleep, drinking drink cocktails, and f what you actually saw were cheap fakes. It's like a deep fake, but it's just the real video that we don't want people to see. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe, poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, dokity. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. Um, I used to live in California, Orange County, when I was in my 20s. It was a year that um, Schwarzenegger was elected. I was there. I voted for him. And we know how that should turn out. <laughs> but now... It's in the hands of Gas and Newsom. No. Mm, mm, mm. This liberal here, he's, I believe he's going to be the next presumptive nominee for the Democratic Party because they're going to get Biden out. But this guy is in charge of California. And so far, since he's been in, we had smashing grabs. We have people, uh, the crime is going off the roof. Even a celebrity was killed over a car. Now at six, breaking news. Former General Hospital actor Johnny Wachter shot and killed by catalytic converter thieves in downtown L.A. We have illegal immigrations going off the chains. Santa Ana could become the latest city in the country to allow non-citizens to vote at the ballot box. And now even the president is not safe. Mm -mm. The president is not safe in California. That's right. This happened in the city of Tustin about an hour after the conclusion of President Biden's glitzy fundraiser at the Peacock Theater near Crypto.com uh, Saturday night in downtown L.A. According to police in the city of Tustin, a United States Secret Service agent was robbed at gunpoint and that the agent had a bag stolen from him. But that agent got off a couple of rounds from his own service weapon during the incident. The suspect got away. It's unclear if he was wounded. Damn, not even the president is safe in California. Golly, <laughs> your secret service got robbed. Gunpoint. Unbelievable. Now, if this happened in the East Coast, you could assume that it would have been a ninja, right? But on the West Coast... It's a beaner. <laughs> the beaner robbed the sticker service. Unbelievable. And what's going to happen when you catch him? If you catch him, you're not going to do nothing to him. You're going to let him go because California. Bye-bye. Right? The criminals got more rights than the citizens, especially if he's an illegal immigrant. Oh, can I say that? No. Oh, shit. I said it already. So, If he's an undocumented worker, he got more rights than the citizens. So again, if the beaner get caught, you're not going to do nothing to him. So what's all this for? What's all the press release for? What is this? You know? This is the problem with the left. You say something about illegal immigration, they gaslight you. The border is, in fact, secure. You say something about 
the inflation, they gaslight you. No president's had the run we've had in terms of creating jobs and bringing down inflation. It was 9% when I came to office. 9%. But and it's all the leadership from the president. Now, for instance, we have the press secretary, the Haitian Lebesian, jean Pierre Corrine over here. Yeah, this one here. She's horrible at it, but she tries. All right. We see with our own two eyes the decline of the president. Right. He was at G7 and we see with our own two eyes him wandering off, looking, looking at the squirrels, chasing squirrels. And she says it's a deep fake. Oh, I mean, look, that was, uh, as I said, it was a cheap, uh, you know, a cheap fake. That was definitely a cheap fake. It was. Uh, this was widely fact-checked. That video was widely fact-checked, including by conservatives, media, on, on what had what happened, that what occurred. Uh, the president walked over to give a thumbs up to divers who had just landed right in front of him. And if you run that tape a little bit longer, you would see uh, you would see what was happening, what the president was actually doing. And it is a cheap fake. Now, in the same event that the Secret Service was being robbed by the beaner, we see Obama and Biden on stage together. And we see that Obama is grabbing his hand and leading them off. And Jean-Pierre says, Oh no, it's a deep fake, and you're looking more into it. They're buddies, they're best friends. First of all, let me spoke to the most recent, right? Uh, and as we saw on Saturday, the President Obama put President Obama's uh, office put out a statement. Uh, so I would refer you to that statement uh, about what was being accused in those uh, uh, by others. Uh, and he said this did not happen in the sense of what people were saying saying they were seeing, right? Uh, or what was being falsely reported. Uh, that they were seeing. Let's not forget, President Obama, President uh, Biden have a relationship. They are friends. They're like family to each other. And I think that's what you saw. Uh, you saw the president put his hand behind the, on the back of, of uh, President uh, uh, Biden, and uh, and they walked off the stage after after uh, taking questions uh, or in a, at an event taking questions from Jimmy Kimmel. That is that is what you saw. Yeah. So that's it. The Republicans are desperate. We're making stories up. Our eyes are deceiving you. Whatever we see is now what you see. Right? Right, Jean-Pierre? Of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation, disinformation, uh, and so we see this, and this is something coming from from your your part of the world, calling them cheap fakes and misinformation. And uh, I think that it tells you everything that we need to know about how um, how desperate how desperate Republicans are here. So yep, yeah, those are your Democrats, guys. Constantly gaslighting us, constantly peeing on our leg and saying it's raining. When are we going to stop it? When are we going to have enough? Hopefully in November we'll get this guy out. Anyway, that's my thought for today. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Haitian Lebesians, get your ass off my lawn.